Hey guys, Mike at SB Reflights. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to swap out the Wi-Fi module if you have one of the older S-Box series lights or if you have one of the Ultra lights with the previous model Wi-Fi. Uh, you can upgrade to the newest version. Uh, the current version right now is a lot easier to program. Um, it's going to give you uh, a lot of features like weather, lightning, etc. Um, the one thing it doesn't give you yet is uh, the ability to control through a router. So it's, in other words, control several units simultaneously. So if that's something you need, you're better off staying with the original unit for now. And then sometime late summer when we come out with the next version, that will have the router capability and we'll announce that of course, and then I would jump on it. But if you only got one light or it's not a big deal to simply connect to each light one at a time, uh, you can certainly upgrade now if you want. So anyway, get moving. Uh, the first thing is the Wi-Fi module is inside a cream colored casing on one end of your light. If you're doing the Ultra, it would be inside the power box. It's the only uh, item that is that color and it does have these orange end caps on the end. So the first thing you're gonna do is unscrew those end caps, pull them off, then you're gonna reach down inside carefully with a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna pry the edges out slightly and you'll be able to actually pull this off um, leaving the board inside and all the electrical connections still on there. At that point, you want to go through your wires and put labels, small tape labels is a good idea. Uh, you're going to want to label at channel 1, 2, 3, and 4 to line up with the heat shrink labels that are on the old module that are labeled PW1, PW2, PW3, and PW4. Now on the other side, um, you're going to have a 12 volt power wire and you're going to have a fan wire, so those both should be labeled as well. So going to the actual boards to talk about the difference. So this is the old board here, and the old board had uh, four labeled pulse width modulated wires, PW1 through PW4. It had a multicolored control switch, uh, which would go to the green blinking light on the top of your reef light, and that's how you were switching modes from regular uh, Wi-Fi to phone versus Wi-Fi to router. Um, we had a ground strap which was plugged in right here, and I've pulled that out. And then we also had the antenna lead, and the antenna lead was plugged in right here, and I just simply pulled that off. Now, the new one does not have the on-off or uh, mode changing button, so this will actually be disregarded. You won't be hooking that back up. It also doesn't use the, the ground strap, so you'll be good on that as well. You don't need to hook that back up. And you can take your old antenna wire, and simply plug it in on the new board without using the antenna wire from the new board. Hopefully that makes sense, that we don't have to remove the antenna. Um, if we look at the new board, the antenna is going to go down here on this corner here. There's a little brass connection, and it just pushes on. It's very simple, and it'll allow it to swivel. On the other end, we have our 12-volt power supply, and then we have an opening for the fans. So in order to hook up the fan control, you're actually going to have to take your fan control wire from the old unit, pull it out. You're gonna to have to cut off the Molex connector on the end, uh, strip the wires back maybe an eighth of an inch, and you're gonna to have to solder them on to these two spots here. Now it's pretty easy to do because um, they're actually labeled. So you've got fan uh, positive and negative. So red is positive, black will be your negative and you just need to make a good enough connection uh, that it'll stay there. So don't worry, it's not a, a typical circuit board connection where you have to fill that entire hole with, with uh, solder. You're gonna be soldering to the outside edge of it. Um, once that's connected, these are good to go. And again, the first one is 12 volt power, the second one is gonna run your fans. Now on the other end, the only thing you have to worry about is PW1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, we took this module to market a little earlier than we were expecting. Actually, it was late. Uh, we were hoping to have it out, gosh, almost a year ago. Uh, but at this point, we uh, wanted to get it out so people could test it. Uh, we had customers been waiting a very, very long time. Um, and so in our rush to get it out, we a couple little things we weren't able to do, like get the fan uh, power put on there, which will be in you know sometime in the next week or two, hopefully. And then also the shrink wrap labels on the wires. However, um, that's really not a big deal because, again, when you flip the board over, uh, it very clearly says channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. So uh, it's very easy to line these back up with the 
uh, labels you made already for PW1, PW2, PW3, and PW4. So um, I'm going to start throwing this into the unit and getting it hooked up, and then I'll, I'll come back in just a second and show you guys what it looks like once it's inside, and then I'll show you how to button it up. But the whole process should take you maybe 20 minutes if you're taking your time and labeling everything carefully. I'd also recommend taking pictures as you go. Certainly makes it a lot easier if you forget which direction certain wires went. You can go back and go, oh, yeah, I see it in the picture now. So I'll uh, be back in just a second.